actually took this like in 10th grade I took this to like one of my standardized tests because I was so nervous <laughs> the self-reliance jumped in not out girl mm. oh hell yeah I can explain this uh. <sighs> yeah <laughs> What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your old Princess Galaxy, and by your request, I am doing a K-pop collection haul. I realize I have so much K-pop merch, and I'm just figuring out how it got here. I'm just like, K-pop is a vortex, okay. So I am currently in the process of selling every single piece of K-pop merch I have, and you're probably wondering, oh my girl, why are you doing that? I don't, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm Micho, like not a Micho, you know what I'm saying? I have EXO, BTS, and Blackpink merch, and I'm really selling them, like I said, on Mercari, so the link is in the description, and I'll also be having an Amazon link for everything as well. So let's get started, yay! So I am actually going to start with the smallest collection, which is my BTS collection. So let me show you what I have for that. I cannot wait to show you this. So here it is. It's just the album tier. So I actually bought this album in July when I was seeing Twice in concert. Love Yourself album is definitely my favorite and it is so beautiful. My favorite song off this album is obviously Outro Tear. I feel like I talk about it in every video. Get my tear, get my, get my tear, hey, yo. Magic Shop. Uh, actually every single song on this album like slaps, like it like slaps. Slap. Slap the Jen photo card. <laughs> Jen stands, where you at? We see you. It's just such a beautiful album and design. It's, I'm getting it messed up. <laughs> All right, so the next collection I have, <laughs> I'm just really how small BTS collection was. <laughs> the next collection I have is Blackpink. That is my second largest collection. And I, I just have black, so much Blackpink shit. I'm addicted. <laughs> First item I have on the roster is the Blackpink official light stick. You guys have seen it all before. This fucking gem, like, are you kidding me? Like, look at the light, hold on. It's so, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's super cute. And it also, also, it squeaks. Like that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love the rose gold accents because it reminds me of Rose, because Rose is my bias. And it also has like audio detection thing. It's like a bass detector basically. Boom, 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 boom. And a thing in it that, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, okay? I just know it's cool as fuck. Also, I did Blackpink VIP and I was like right up in the front. It was so much fun. If you guys want a video on that, let me know because Jisoo almost took my phone and I had so many interactions. I talked to Lisa and Rose. It was like, oh, dream come true. Like they're little like angels in real life. Like they, guys. The next item I have is something of a rarity that not a lot of people have. It is the Blackpink billboard collector set. Blackpink, if you guys didn't know, made their first American magazine debut with Billboard back in March. And this is around the time I actually got like money from school. Cause you know, you have like, if you have financial aid, you don't spend all your money, you get like returns. So I got like a thousand dollars and I was just like, I'm gonna buy this. So I have um, every single member version. So we have Jenny, who is this? <laughs> Lisa and rose i also have the matching poetry can i talk i have the matching posters for each of them but no jisoo version because i actually did a giveaway with that one when i first started my youtube channel it's like amazing like matte i love how it's like black pink like we love the creativity your creativity jumped out so the next black pink item is the kill this love black version it's not an album actually it's a mini album so they have like this thing, ooh, okay girl, come through. So I got this, and guess what poster I got? I got bad bitch Jenny from the box. Oh, grrr. I was so excited when I got this. And then like the metallic, I mean like the chrome nails, like <laughs> come through. So my favorite song definitely off of Kill This Love is Don't Know What To Do. Like, oh, that song sent me like during the concert. I was like, don't go. <laughs> so good and i have like a few stickers i have the black pink kill this love um kill this love black pink i also got a jisoo photo card if you were wondering about that it's like a four thing where it's like you you get the puzzle right so there is k 
kill kill this yeah 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 sorry it's my crackhead juice so the next item i have is square up which is my favorite black pink album and this album obviously was my first black pink album because this is their first album <laughs> but one thing that i really love the most about this album is the holograph not holographic what is this called this it's this <laughs> It's where it changes the picture. <laughs> it's kind of like an accordion style thing where it has do 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 and then forever young and then it has really and see you later. See you later boy, see you later. I was able to get not just one photo card, not just two photo card, but also tres photo card. Oh, I love their outfits during this era. I do, I do kind of feel like um, YG doesn't really have a particular theme for Blackpink. Can I like put this back correctly? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm pregnant, that's what I am. And that is all when it comes to my Blackpink collection. Now, finally, I'm going on to my magnum opus. My EXO collection. The reason why I love it so much is because it's the collection that I've been working on the hardest ever since I became a K-pop fan. I've been at XOL for like five years and they were my first K-pop group that I ultimately fell in love with. So this is why it's very special to me. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. Should I start with the CDs or should I start with the DVDs? Let me know. I'll do the DVDs because they're at the top of the pile. <laughs> Two DVDs are EXO, The Lost Planet in Japan, their first concert tour, and EXO Second Box, ooh. I think I just bought it because it was like Exodus era, and that's like, was like my era, like I love that era, but it's like really pretty. It doesn't come with photo cards or anything, but it comes with, I believe, four special DVDs. I'm pretty sure I watched all these in like one night. <laughs> So it says here that it's just like a chat with EXO, weekend with EXO, making film one and making film two, like for like the Pathcode music video. Do you guys remember that? When we all had to be like fucking FBI detectives and find out what EXO was trying to tell us during during Exodus. <laughs> the exhaustion, honestly. Next thing I have, like I said, it's just the Lost Planet um, DVD in Japan. This is pretty basic um, DVD. Um, this is obviously from Overdose Era, and it has the Egon Overdose logo right here. And it also has this little photo book that I probably just like destroyed. And it has Tao in it. Mm, Tao and Lei. Wait, that's not Lei. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that was too help. Oh, Chanel. Oh my god, Tao and Shuman. Bitch, I'm crying. <laughs> I can't look at this anymore. Fuck. Should I be Chanel's autograph last? I'm gonna show you his autograph last. So the next item I have is my album collection. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys just kind of like the albums. They're not gonna be in any particular order. So just hang on for the ride, girl. Hang on for the ride. So first I have the Love Me Right Romantic Universe like repackage thing. This is just like the one where it's just like the individual members. And obviously I got Chenyo and it was like $12. I'm not sure why I paid $12 for this. But I'm pretty sure I just paid because it was like channel. I honestly don't remember ever listening to this, but there it is. Oh fuck. The next album that fell is another channel version, but it's exact. Oh my god, it's not exact, Princess Exodus. <laughs> and obviously this is the Korean version because it's golden and um Chanyo was on it. You know, I actually took this like in 10th grade. I took this to like one of my standardized tests because I was so nervous. <laughs> The self-reliance jumped in, not out, girl. Looks <laughs> so fucking good here. I also have the posters to all these albums. Just, oh, like, are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God, can you just not? Favorite song off this album is all of them. But if I had to pick one, it'd probably be tied between El Dorado and Hurt and Beautiful. <laughs> That's three songs. What if? That sounds good. Transformer is like the shit. Playboy, um, that disturbed me emotionally. No, Lady Luck when they when she was like, uh, I'm like, can you just? I'm 
15. <laughs> like, this is illegal. That's the that on that. The next album, I'm definitely not going in order with this. Maybe I should. Actually, you know what? I'm not. So the next album is Don't Mess Up My Tempo. So, Don't Mess Up My Tempo. I really like this. Fine specimen right there. Looks so fucking good. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my god, a photo car! <laughs> I got Kai. <laughs> I'm lucky. I've never seen any of these. That's Bakeyun. Kai and Bakeyun. Super M, anyone? Super M? Oh my god, like Kim Jong in, like, can you not step on my neck? Like, literal, like, ambassador of Gucci now. Isn't this Gucci? Oh, my favorite song off of Tempo. It's kind of hard because I didn't really like any of the songs when I first heard them. I think it's Sign. I feel like people don't like Sign though because they think it's really weird. It is a weird song, but I like it. It's so abrasive. It's like, bruh, 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 bruh. Like me too, girl. That is my mood like 80% of my day. So the next album, like I said, we're not going in order, is the Love Me Right repackage. It has Love Me Right, Tender Love, and then that Promise song, like after like all those, the Chinese, some of the Chinese members left and they were like, we're gonna make a song. Oh, wait, 2014? I mean, 2015? I, I feel old. <laughs> I feel really old right now. But I didn't figure this out until like a year after I had the poster on my wall. But someone said, someone came into my room and they said, they're baseball caps. Those are baseball caps, but they're wearing football uniforms. <laughs> What's going on here? They could probably sell this out though. Kings of K-pop. Favorite song off the repackage. Maybe Yaksok, but that's a Yaksok promise. That's that's a good song. Next album I have on the roster is X. Oh God, the third full length album. This is the monster version. So I like how it was like formatted in like a book way. And I like how simplistic it was. This is probably my, like my second favorite EXO album. Exodus is number one and Exact is number two. I think that's why I confuse the names. Oh my God, these photo shoots were so freaking good. Like, can we talk about Kim Jong-un? He's always slaying like, oh my, my biases, like, I'm feeling so many things right now, like in, like on all my body parts. Leg come through, king of visuals. Yeah, when he bit his lip, mm, are you like, oh, stop attacking me right now. I'm so mad. Human definitely underrated. I feel like the people, the guys that were in XOM are like so underrated with visual. Oh, uh, I miss Kyung Soo, yeah. <laughs> we have a moment of silent for Gyo in the military. No, and Shuman in the military. Is it Suho and Chen going to the military? You know what, let's just have the moment of silence. One thing I also like about Exact is that they have the concept of like, the, all the logos and then like the new logos. I thought that was like really cool. Them's always had a really good concept with EXO and I really appreciate how much effort they put into it. Except for this time around, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't know the concept of love shot. I don't understand the concept of like, where's, how they using their powers. I'm not gonna understand, but I'm just saying it's nice to have a theme <coughs> YG with Blackpink with the, their shit. This next light stick is a light stick <laughs> and it's my EXO light stick. I believe this is version two. Well, it has like these different settings and it's just pretty basic, but it does connect the Bluetooth when you go to concerts. I want a version three light stick so bad. Soon, it will be here soon. Soon I'll be able to like go see EXO in like different countries and stuff. Hopefully they can come back to America. Who else wants EXO to come back to America? Me. So I got three things with the light stick. Stickers, which like the other person already used them. And I also used a Chanyo one. I also got these two things. This is like the official seal that from SM saying like, hey girl, this ain't counterfeit from China. And this is, I believe, Exodus era. Oh, remember when there were nine consistent members promoting an EXO? Good times, right? It all comes in this cute little envelope. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! I want to show you guys one last thing that has been so close and dear to my heart, which is <laughs> my Chanyo signed picture. That's right, Park Chanyo put his long ass fingers and with a long with a golden, I can't even talk, I'm so excited, with like a golden Sharpie and wrote on this. So my friend got this from South Korea while she was there on vacation and guys, like I was like, how did you get this? And she's like, I have my secrets. Cause like she can speak Japanese and like she does all this stuff like in Asia. So I'm just like, okay, well like 
I don't know your secret, but you know what I'm saying? Like, hook me up, you know, like, girl, like, hook me up. So I am so grateful that she was able to give this to me. And I admire how amazing it is. Like, he touched this. Like, I had, I had this, like, next, I had this next to my bed, guys. Like, this is not a joke. All right, guys, so that is my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so nice being able to finally get back on here with you guys. And if you guys have any ideas or recommendations for videos, including me sitting down talking about the Blackpink concert and showing you my vlog videos from that, let me know if you want it. And subscribe for Crackhead content every single Friday with a fun K-pop twist. I'm also going to be doing a BTS Halloween outfit transformation. So if you want to stay tuned for that, let me know. Also, follow me on Instagram. I connect with all my crackheads that way. I love just sharing so many things every single day on my story. I'm just so active. I'm always thirsting over like K-pop, like especially Super M lately. If you guys want me to react to Super M's music video, I will definitely do that because I've made a lot of videos on them. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you want everything, it is linked in the description on Amazon and Mercari. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I love you so, so much, Crackhead Nation. You mean the world to me. Ah, I'm just so happy I'm able, I'm able to just call you guys just like my friends and we're able to just be together as one Crackhead Nation. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Mwah!